Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we learned how we can configure Stripe with our Firebase application, but we didn't get time to test our checkout page and use some of the testing card in Stripe if, uh, to see if this is working or not. So this is going to be a quick video, and I'll show you how you can test, and I'll show you some of the test uh, card for Stripe that are working just fine successfully. So if I click on the checkout now, it should redirect me to the checkout page in the Stripe successfully. Currently, the data is hard coded, but we will make the data dynamic in the next video. From here, let's test if this is working or not. So we have $30 in our cart, and this is going to be a t-shirt description. Everything is fine. Oops, I'm not going there. Now, I'm just writing some email here. Let's say this is going to be admin at me.com. That is just an example. And now, for the card information here, uh, Stripe is going to provide you some testing cards. So if you come to the Stripe documentation for the testing, it is going to give you some of the example of the card you can use. For example, this is the simplest one, 42, 42, 42, four times. And this is going to be a Visa card. These are testing, but they are not going to give you real money. But you can see if MasterCard or Visa card or debit card are working or any other uh, card service like American Express or discover work uh, fine here i'm going to use this one 44 which is the simplest one and i will come to my payment here you can write that as a visa card and for the date just write any date that is after that like you can say 11 11 and it should be 21 which is going to be 2001 and for the c we see it is going to be the card in the back of the number and in, in the back of your card uh, just write a random three number and for the card holder we are going to say is going to be admin and the country is going to be australia so i will just hit the pay method and it is going to process my payment and let's see if this is working fine yes it was successful and it just redirected us to the example.com which was the after which we provide in the coding like in the previous video we will change that later but if i come to the dashboard here and here we have received it and if i refresh my page it should you should see your payment here sometimes you do need to refresh the page because it is automatically going to check for any new payment as you can see for today i just got 30 dollar payment here and this is going to be the payment now 10 o'clock so this is just for testing and you know this is test data and none of them is going to be real but we have successfully done our payment and you can check any other card also to see if uh, other type of card is working just fine so i hope it has been informative in the next video i'm going to work on the dynamic data and how you can read dynamic data from uh, firebase and that is going to be interesting and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching